The following software tutorial covers vectorizing a graphic for rhinestone placement using Roland Rware Studio. The first thing we want to do is launch Roland Rware Studio. Once we have Rware Studio launched, we want to create a new work area. In this example, we're going to use a 12 inch by 9 inch work area. To view the actual work area on the screen, we can click on View and Fit to Screen. Next, we're going to import our bitmap graphic for vectorization. To do so, we click on the Import button, locate the bitmap image, and click OK. Once we have the bitmap image in Rware Studio, we can resize the graphic to our liking. We can either resize arbitrarily or we can right click on the image, click properties, and specify an actual size. Click OK, reposition our graphic. Now to vectorize the image, we want to select the image, click on object, image outline. This will bring up the image outline window. In the image outline window, we can adjust our alignment image density and adjust it to our liking to generate our vector lines. So if you notice, the darker we go, the less detail we have, the lighter we go, we lose the detail. So we want to adjust it just right. Once we're done, we click Extract Contour Lines to create the vectors and click OK. Once we've done so, we want to select the image, drag it off the vector, and delete the image. Now, to adjust the image itself, we need to break up the polylines. To do so, we select the vectors, click on Object, and break polyline. At this point, each object is individual. We can now go in and clean up or remove elements of the graphic. For instance, in the clover, if I want to clean up the vector down in this area, I can select it, go to my Node Edit tool, and I can go in and make adjustments to it. If I want to add nodes, I could simply double click on the line and add nodes into my graphic. Once I'm complete, I can now apply my rhinestones to the graphic. For the outer line, I will put a transparent crystal, SS12, and hotfix. Click the arrange, rearrange icon. And for the clover itself, I will do a fill with emerald stones, SS10 in size, and I will do an island fill using the default settings. At this point, I can configure my engraver and output my vectorized graphic to the engraver. Thank you, and this concludes our tutorial. For additional videos and information, please visit www dot rolanddga.com